Lesson number seven, analyze, optimize, and scale. Let's talk about first and foremost, optimization and testing. Always be testing. At the end of the day, the general practice and advice I have for you is to send emails when you're first starting off in small batches and get the performance working and then scale. So let's break this down into things you can do to increase your open rate. These are more questions you should be asking yourself in the first place to help you better uncover the answer because ultimately testing the theory and concepts and, and getting real life data will help you get the better performance, but you need to think about what you should be asking yourself. So first and foremost, are your cold emails being delivered in the first place? Sometimes this could be the issue. Maybe you've triggered some spam filters. Maybe your, uh, maybe your response, you know, your, your uh, domain is blacklisted. I don't know what it could be, but think about that. Double check that and make sure that's happening properly. Uh, this can happen from sending way too many emails at a given time or, or many different things. Are you targeting the right audience, right? Sometimes it's not what you're saying. Sometimes it's just who you're emailing. Maybe if you just adjusted the audience a little bit, um, it could work better. Is your subject line the problem? What can be improved in the subject line? Go back to lesson number two, right? Test different variations, um, different formats, include maybe personalization, be more specific. You know, and another thing to ask yourself is, are you sending at the right time, right? Maybe you're just sending, maybe your email open rates are low because you're sending at a time where everyone else is sending. Um, or maybe you're sending on a weekend when no one checks your emails on the weekend to, with your audience. So think about when the right time is to send and maybe that's another test you can do. But I usually do these types of, um, I ask myself these types of questions to really get a better understanding and audit my campaigns. Now let's say your emails are getting open, but you're not getting a good response rate. And remember, the response rate is the goal. Like that's the, that's the main metric for an email. So ask yourself these questions. Should I try a different greeting? Maybe you failed to get their attention in the first place. You got them to open it, but you lost their attention. Can my opening be improved? Like what is it? Is it just the first line that's just messed up or like is failing to resonate with people? Maybe it is. I would start there before you go rewrite your whole email. Will a different template or whole approach give me better results? Maybe you want to test it with two different segments. Is your email too long? I'll answer that for you. Generally, yes, it's always too long. Always try shortening it up. Is your tone off, right? Are you emailing accountants saying, hey dude, wrong, wrong approach, wrong language. Um, are you offending people? You could be, you might not know it. Think about that. Maybe you, if you have a you know, target demographic you're reaching out to, maybe you know somebody in that space, you can test it on. Is your call to action too big of an ask? Are you asking for people's time? Reduce that, that could be the problem, right? Think about another way to do it and maybe if you figure out that that's the problem, well then maybe the rest of your email has worked and, and now you know where to pinpoint it. Um, have you clearly conveyed the benefits of your product, service or whatever you're selling or like have you proven yourself, right? Um, maybe you should share a different piece of content. Is the content you sent not applicable? Maybe, um, maybe it's your, maybe you've got a response rate, but your kind of script for your sales call is bad. Who knows exactly what it is until you start pinpointing the information. And are you following up the right amount of times? Are you just not following enough enough? En enough. And make sure um, you kind of look through, you know, look through these six, uh, you know, these questions and figure out where you're getting stuck. Because oftentimes it's one or two things that's wrong with your email, that's preventing the whole thing from failing. So think about what part of your email uh, process that's failing and fix that first.